and we're checking out the HDMI ultra high-speed cable here with the JCE hi hi we are from JCE component and we are a cable manufacturer so we specifically manufacture ultra high-speed HDMI cable and also premium high-speed cable so, so this is HDMI 2.1 cable yeah exactly and um, all these right here even this very small one yeah this is 36 gauge so which means small conductor this is up to 2.2.0 meters and for example this is like 26 gauge and this is up to 5 meters so it depends like which kind of application that you're using then we will recommend different kind of cables this one is very short no yeah this one is this is only for samples so that's why we made it short but for example these are all ultra high speed hdmi cable which is relatively new released by hdmi forum and this is support up to 8k so which means 48g of transmission what do you show here oh this is our wire this are wire and inside these are the conductor and the insulation itself so it shows how uh, we do on the EMI so which means we protect the conductor with all of these shielding and we also input the element of the shielding so which has better EMI so it's um, certified ultra yeah this, these are the new products here and these are like the premium so which are also HDMI 2.0 yeah exactly and these are also certified by HDMI forum as well <laughs> so um, sometimes is this the same as this one or do you have to do something different to make yeah. this work these are more stricter <coughs> because the standard is more stricter so because we produce not only the row cable but also the assembly so we have to control all of the procedure very well so that's why you can see it like this uh, and um yeah um, JCE, uh, where are you based? Oh, we based on Taipei and also in Dongguan. So mostly we have two factory in Taiwan and two factory in Dongguan. Is it HDMI 2.1 in Taiwan and 2.0 in China or not? <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. So which one? Uh, <clears throat> how do you engineer this? Do you, do you make many cables? Yeah, it's a big company? Yeah, we are a very big company. We made a lot of cables. So for example, the patch cold cable and HDMI cable, AOC cable, USB cable, the display port cable. We manufacture a lot of cable. Speci specifically manufacture cables. And um, AK is exciting for JCE? Yeah, we are. We are looking forward to it. This is all passive. Is it copper? What's inside? Okay, so if you're looking for short cable, then we will recommend the copper version. But if you're looking for a longer lens, we will recommend the AOC cable, which means active optical cables. For example, this one, this solution, which can support up to 30 meters. And this is, we specifically, we have small connector here and die casting front show here so this is very robust and we have really good EMI protecting is that fiber or yeah we put fiber inside but it's kind of uh, combined with copper and fiber how does that work so uh, for example the if we are transmitting the signal we are using fiber inside but for other communication wires we use copper for the metadata yeah, for example. That's copper that and for the for the 48 gigabit is fiber. Yeah, exactly. So it's a hybrid. Yeah, it is hybrid cable. This is why it's 30 meters and not 100 meters. Yeah, exactly. This is 30 meters. But if you are looking for longer lens, this one is 100 meter. So it depends, depends on which kind of application that you're using, then we'll recommend a different kind of cable. This is only fiber. Yeah, no, no this is also fiber and copper. This is also hybrid. Even 100 meter? Yes. 
What does it do here with this cable? Oh, this is the power. So, so you add power to it? Yeah. On each side. Uh, so this is how it looks like, uh, your different offices, uh, yeah. Taipei, Taiwan. You have stuff in Vietnam also. We are doing a survey in Vietnam, we are heading to Vietnam, but currently we are still surveying. And um, you would say that uh, JCE quality is... Um, high quality. High quality. <laughs> we have world classes customers from Japan, from the States, and from any part of the world. The price is good? The price is a little bit expensive. <laughs> a little bit more, but you want the quality. Yeah. People need the quality. Yes, exactly. So you have to decide which is more important to you because we have a lot of customer, they have bad quality before or <laughs> fine quality before, but sometimes they have problem of these cables and they lost a lot of customer because of these uh, quality issue, then they come to us for better quality. And um, right here, yes. Uh, when I look at this nice looking thin one, mm -hmm. does that mean it's more expensive? Uh, not, not that much, but this is a bit hard to assemble. This is true, but at the same time, they use a less conductor, so which means less copper. So if you want to compare, then it is relatively fine. But last, what does that mean? Last, uh, La less, less, copper. yeah, less, less copper. <coughs> so you so can save still, some money on the material. Yeah, save some money on the material, but you have to. It costs more. Do while we are doing the assemble because, for example, these are very small. So when they do the assemble, they have to do it quite well. When you say 36 or 26 and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it's about how many of these inside? Or? No, no, not exactly. I'm talking about the size of the conductor inside here. So, which is here. It's very small currently, but you can see it like this. The diameter, I'm talking about the diameter. Diameter, so here's a smaller diameter. Yes, exactly. So that's why I make it thin. Is it a big market to do those kind of small cables or small into starting? Mm, depends on which kind of market you are talking about. But these are very popular among Japanese customers. <laughs> they really want tiny components. You think it looks cool? Yeah, it looks cool and because they have smaller area, smaller space to not only storage and also to put it in different applications, so like they like this. But for other market, for example, if you're looking for the cable look robust and they will recommend like this kind of the cable because it is thicker and it looks more robust. And uh, do you work with many brands? There's yeah. many brand customers who put their brands on there? Yes. You don't ship your brand? Sorry? Do you also have your brand? We, but no. no. Just many different customers? Yes. How many? Like 100? Many? Uh, many. <laughs> right.